If you are a Java developer preparing for interview, here is what you must know in 2026. Let's start with the non-negotiable Java core. Obviously, you should know all the new features of Java 17 or plus. Along with all the Java foundation, you should know collections, generics, threading, JVM internals, Java memory like heap, stack, and the garbage collection. But the bad news is you will not even get one interview call after learning all this. Here is the next step. The Spring and the Hibernate framework are still the backbone of any enterprise level Java application. Coming to the Spring module, at least you should know Spring Core, Spring MVC, Spring Security, Spring Ray, Spring Webflux, Spring Data, Data in the sense Data JPA, Data Mongo, Data Radius, and obviously the Spring ORM and the transaction management. And along with that, you should know a little bit of Hibernate and a little bit of database side as well. Your knowledge should not be DVLable, but at least you should know and understand the database related queries. Apart from that, Spring Batch is going to be a good to have thing. And along with that, you should learn Spring AI because that's trending. And also you should know the latest and greatest virtual trade using Spring Framework. And, and, and you should learn the Spring messaging using RabbitMQ, Kafka, ActiveMQ, whatever you like. Now, sorry to disappoint you. This is going to give you job calls, but not the actual job offer because you are missing microservices and the microservices design patterns. And in 2026, that's non-negotiable as well. And along with all this, you should be able to design API which can perform under load, which can be scalable, and you should be able to design system where you can log, trace, track different metrics of your application. And the list is not end here. The DevOps is not a optional skill anymore. You should and you must learn Docker. The Kubernetes is a good to have skill and at least a little bit of deployment idea with AWS and GCP is going to be a very big add on. But wait, before we deploy, First of all, we need to test our application. And for that, we need to learn the unit testing skill using JUnit and Mokito. And after we test, we need to build before the deployment. And for that, we need tools like Maven or Gradle. And now we are ready to push the code. And for that, we need Git. And after you push the changes, your code should go live automatically. And to automate this, you need Jenkin, and a perfect CI CD pipeline. All right, now you tell me, are you up to date or you're missing some skills? Do let me know in the comments and follow this channel to get most of these contents for free.